why, why open source, first of all? Like, that's the big million dollar question, right? Why? Uh, community. Uh, basically because, you know, we were asked in about a week or two to stand up a fairly robust science processing system for, uh, for snow spectroscopy, snow hydrology in the western U.S. and Alaska. And because um, picking a technology that uh, we'd have to learn or that might have a separate community of developers to kind of construct you know, this, this fixed system would have been pretty difficult for us. And we already have a lot of expertise in our group with people using open source software and contributing to it and becoming leaders kind of within that community. So the rapid prototyping aspect of it, the, um, the notion that once we built the system itself, we could kind of actively improve it and maintain it with the same set of people that are, are taking the same data system technology, Apache ODT, Apache Tika, um, you know, Apache, the Apache web server, a number of Apache technologies, the same people that are developing these things, they could take them and, uh, you know, really leverage them and improve them based on the experience from fielding them on this project and share them with other people. Now, licensing and the cost of software is kind of a big deal. Um, when you guys went to scale this thing out on your cluster, was, did you have any problems with licensing software? Well, that was the other key is that no one really, the only dollars that, you know, the, the PI was willing to really spend on this and, you know, for an important reason was on uh, a couple different pieces of software. On First, initially it was on IDL because the algorithms that were developed to do um, dust radiative forcing uh, from black carbon and um, an improvement of, of snow measurements for that and snow covered area, they were all kind of written and IDL originally and so IDL kind of the PI was willing to buy licenses for and so we had to do that because you know you have to have the node licenses for IDL so you can run it but then you know everything else it's not like we were handed a budget to go out and buy or procure a data system to do this or to go procure Oracle or go procure whatever and I don't think even doing that would have solved it because most of those technologies would have to have been customized and and so on and so forth so the, the, the promise with you know using technologies like the ones that we use from Apache are that you know it's license vetted they don't have or they don't have any surprises that they kick down to the downstream users of it and you know we were gonna go ahead and redistribute and install the software on several nodes we have collaborators that we kind of intended to work with from the beginning at NSIDC, you know, at other places, and there was the potential to have to share the software, and so we just, we didn't want any surprises. We didn't want to have to do the license vetting ourselves. We wanted to pick something that already had all of its components and interdependencies kind of vetted for that, and, and Apache was the way. So if someone's watching this video standing at AGU by this poster, what um, what's like one message? What's your... What's your soundbite or your tagline for this for this poster? I hope the takeaway from this is that this was a pretty awesome system that was constructed uh, in a small amount of time. Initially, it was a a prototype, like most systems, that grew into an operational deployment. It's an active science computing facility supporting some of the most challenging problems for the U.S. Cl National Climate Assessment. Uh, you know, for applications, uh, applications users, decision support people. You know, so it's a fairly robust and complex system built with a small amount of money as small in a small amount of time with a small amount of developers and the big key behind that was open source so the big takeaway you know here if you're watching this at AGU is we hope you think that this project is cool if you think it's cool we hope that you'll realize that the reason for that is that we constructed this with a bunch of open source technologies and more so than simply deciding that they're cool and you're going to use them which would be great you know in your own applications join up on the projects come join us on these mailing lists come participate in the development and scratch your itches in those communities and you know it's it's kind of a there's <laughs> there's a reciprocity there and the reciprocity is you know our, our promise to you is uh, you know participating in the project is won't just benefit the larger community or us or that are already in it that are helping to produce it will benefit you you can put it on your resume you can join up uh, you know you can people will know you know when you're actually working on open source software you'll gain a set of skills that will really help your own career development so join up